Hello everyone, I am Loki616 and I am welcoming you to yet more games of scrolls. Today I'm going to be playing some ranked, so let's get on to it. And let's see if we can find a game. I did just try and do this, found a game and the person instantly disconnected. So hopefully we'll have more luck this time. Good luck, have fun, boom. Uh, me first, because my character is bigger. Um, let's get rid of that, and then the turn. Uh, see, the, the strength of Powerbound is that you can, um, you can get two power in a turn but as I want pretty much all of these gonna throw it down and the Royal Infantryman gives plus one health so I want him sort of towards the back line Spikey's at the front Relentless in the middle and then the plus in the back unless of course it's General or the um, the Royal Guard as it were they they go somewhere in the middle to give as many people as possible the buff. And let's see what he Oh, it's still my turn, end of turn. My bad. Oh, that's my bad as well. Let's turn that on. Uh let's see what we get here. Okay, we've got an energy deck and he's starting up with the gun automaton. Royal Vanguard. That's du -du -du. I'm gonna burn down the focus. Throw down the walking stone, uh, waking stones. In the turn. I mean, yes, he can move, but he now can't kill my guy because he does two attack and has three health. Uh, they're actually really, really nice, strong. Also, note this is the first game against uh, Mono Energy, and it's my first ranked game. Uh, I am not so sure I like where this is going. Catapult of Goo. He will hit an area so at the moment he's hitting the area I'm in but I can dodge him pretty easily and oh uh, crown of strength isn't bad but at the same time I'd really rather get out the Duke of skirmisher uh, I'm gonna throw him down here this guy's gonna attack this turn he's gonna do one damage to that thing um, and then next turn, I'm going to move him out of the way and him out of the way. That's the plan. So this this little gun automaton will only hit the stones, doing one damage. Uh, sacrificing resources. <laughs> Let's see what we can get going on here. He's taking a long time to think about this one. Oh. Scatter Gunner. These are really strong units. Four attack. Only two health though. Burn down the resonant helm. Am I going to burn it for cards or for mana? Because I can't actually play the Royal Vanguard this turn. Or I could, but I'd play him in a different position. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Okay, so play the Royal Vanguard here. Move this guy over here. Move this guy over here. Uh, I've now dodged the attack. I've also made it so that next turn I should be able to kill this guy. Because he can't, he can't actually move left to get behind his defensive structures. So unless he plays something in front of that scatter gunner, I might have him. Right. Sacrifice him for resources, and we're both at five now. I can pretty much leave it there because there is literally one card in my deck that uses six. So I get the feeling that the next card, whatever it is, unless it's super duper awesome, 
I'll be sacking for uh... oh yeah that's a way around it but I think actually next turn what I'm gonna do is go up and take out that thing with him because actually he's gonna be firing next turn isn't he and a destroyer destroyers are a little bit more annoying he's firing next turn already wow okay Three, one, do do Horn of Ages, get rid of that. Uh, Resonant Helm, I don't particularly like, whatever, Obelisk. I'm gonna... Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these guys back in here. And then I'm gonna throw down this Obelisk here to protect my General, and I'm gonna move him up one even though next turn when he actually does pop these two will both be nulled they'll, they'll both be not attacking so him one damage off him nice right so this turn they're actually going to destroy my stones which is really annoying because he's going to do one damage to it and then the lobber here so lobbers i don't know if you've been seeing that they do area and it's four squares that's um, dependent on your position on your side of the map so he's at the farthest back point so he actually only gets the three squares that are at the front of my line uh, had he been one square forward he would have gotten the square that my Duke of Skirmisher is now on the two below him and then the one below that oh cannon automaton really strong that was unfortunate for him he couldn't couldn't do anything about that though um, and another resonant helm. Give me something good. Okay, there's the honourable general. Spiky doesn't actually help against this lot. Uh, do, do, do. Right, what can I do? What can I do? Okay, so none of those are firing next turn. And he is... Oh, he's only five this turn because of what he's given him. Okay, so actually, let's move him down, move him down. And then next turn, they'll kill that guy, or they'll be able to go back up and do that guy in. And then this guy can come down here. He's going to do free damage to this uh, automaton. And I'm going to throw a spiky down in front of him. Uh, let's keep the resident helm, so I've got something to throw away next turn, because I will be throwing it away. Um, see, it's situations like this where flip wouldn't actually be awful. <laughs> But, of course, you can't tell that, and I find it less useful. All combat damage, damage dealt to Cannon Automaton is reduced by one. Clever. And he's moved his... Oh, he's got a wall down in the form of the useless contraption, which is actually surprisingly not useless. Working as intended. Um, ranged attack... Not a big issue. This thing, because I'm going to kill it next turn anyway. And I'm keeping out of the range of the lobber. The problem is that next turn, these two are both going to fire. And they do a lot of damage. Now I can throw down an obelisk in front of them. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I don't think I can get my Honourable General out yet, Perfect, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to throw down... Mmm, mm, decisions, decisions. So next turn, first thing that's going to happen, it will be five damage to it, and then it will be four damage to him. Uh, so actually what I think I want to do is throw down the Zealot as just pointless defense, and then throw down the Ducal Spearman. Two, two. He will die next turn. But he'll soak up two damage that would have otherwise. Or I could throw the obelisk down here. Yeah, let's throw the obelisk down there. There we go. Right then, let's see what he does. 
Yeah, because the first thing that's going to happen is 5 damage here. Fortunately, he hasn't got Relentless. Then there's 4 damage here, so that is going to kill my Royal Spearman, unfortunately. And then this guy is going to do 1 damage, which will do... Uh, sorry, 2 damage, which will do 2 damage to my Obelisk. Which is annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. It's only an Obelisk, after all. Hmm. And I think what I'm going to do next turn is maybe move him up. Oh, and there come the uh, grave locks. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Move him up. I'm gonna sack him for resources. Throw down the honourable general there. That means that all of these guys will pop at the same time. Fortunately, this guy is gonna do. Uh, I could actually move him down. Or move him down to at least kill this guy, because I ain't gonna be able to do enough damage to that thing. And yeah, kill that guy. And then this turn, I have to be wary of those guys. Which I think actually means moving him just out of the way. If he moves him up and then moves him down, he can only still only do five damage to my general. Might actually want to just move the general down. Yep, there we go. Let's burn that out. I'm gonna move him. See, because he can get at the general next turn. So I'm going to move him down. This guy can go up. And this guy can also go up. The crossbowman can go here. And then the ducal spearman can go there. Okay then. So next turn what I'll do is I will move this guy into there, this guy down, and that guy up, that round. Hmm, decisions, 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 yeah, okay. What the? How did he just die? I don't even... I don't even know how that guy just died. I'm really confused. What the frack just happened? Oh okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go back over that. Because I don't think he should have died. Okay, I suppose that makes my game a little easier. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, okay, so what I'm thinking is, these are all going to shoot. Oh. Yeah, okay, he's actually going to kill that guy, that's a bit annoying, but, yeah. He's only plus one health guy. Oh, getting the Iron Ogre out. That's, that's bad, he's got some really big units out now. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Wait a minute, I have flipped? Why the frack do I have flip? I got rid of flip. Okay. So 
So next turn, the general's gonna pop. And let's, before we move anyone, Move him down. Move him up. And let's put the Royal Spearman down there. Let's move that over there. There. Yeah. That Iron Go uh, Ogre is just so devastating. I mean, he takes three turns to charge up, but he's gonna run through basically a whole row, unless my like general and my vanguard are in it. I'd rather not just sack those two, just to stop the uh, the Iron Ogre moving. Mm. Sorry, folks. This is looking like a long one as well. What do I reckon? What do I reckon? What do I reckon? Next turn, they're all going to pop and they're all going to charge. This could be good. Unfortunately, he's forced me off the middle. He really has. Uh, uh, yeah, so they're all going to pop and I think I'm going to move him up. Hmm, that feels like a waste. Move him up, then him down. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Right, yeah. He's gonna do two damage to my general. It's not a big deal. He's about to run out of time. Right. Okay, then they all popped. Juku Skirmisher. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him. He can kill that thing up there. He's going to move down. He's going to move down. Then they're all going to... Yeah, okay, so that's... Boom, that's free attack. And that's free attack, and then I can put. I'm gonna sack this for cards. Throw down the focus on him. So now I'm gonna be doing six damage to that point. What's wrong with that? Boom! For, uh, six damage. And then range six damage. Nice! See, he's got a lot of big units, but they're all long cooldown units now. Um. Ooh, burn. Nasty spell. Um. Purification can go next time for cards. Is he gonna move, is he gonna move the Iron Golem down? Don't know. I could really do with my uh, waking stones right about now. Oh, that's annoying. Plating. Uh, plating. Uh, next damage done removes the plating, so it's uh, it's similar to totem armor. Burn that for cards. Oh, kabonks. I've got two of them. And a kabonk. Him. Bonk. Him again. Ooh. Uh, and then I've got plate armor. Uh, I'm going to move him up. Him up as well. I'm also going to move him. No, I'm going to leave him exactly where he is. 
these two will pop next turn if they still exist. I'm going to throw down the plate armor on this guy. I know he's probably going to get destroyed next turn, but it will mean that he soaks up one extra damage, which means that this guy's only going to have two damage done to him. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, let's go with that. So he can't actually kill anyone with the Iron Ogre next, uh, next turn. And he's also got plating on the cannon automaton. Which is a little annoying. Right. Let's see what he does here. Is he going to go for the 7 damage on the point or is he going to go for... Oh, that's annoying. Uh, he now needs to do 4 damage. Uh, he'll only do 3 damage there. Okay, so my general should still... My uh, vanguard should still be alive. At least I hope he will be. him down or is he going to play like a haste on that thing or something he's still got four energy and he's still got one card fury yeah all units uh decrease their cooldown by one yeah good play and he kills my vanguard that's annoying uh let's burn that down for cards Move him up, him up. Oh, I could full trap the Iron Golem, uh, Iron Ogre, rather. Uh, let's go with Royal Skirmisher. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Full trap him, and then, uh. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Throw him down. I could give him a blessing of haste, but that'd be pretty pointless. So I'm going to go with just that for the moment. And leave that there. Right, let's go. Right, I've killed that point as well. But to be fair, he's done a fair amount of damage to these two, so it's not as useful as I'd like. Right, what else have we got going on over here? He's got five turns until his golem actually comes back into play. But he is a damn good blocker. Especially with plating. These two have both got plating on them. So in actuality I need to do five, five attacks basically to this row. With enough power to kill him. Oh another. Oh that's just mean. That's just unnecessarily mean. Uh, let's play this for cards because he's got no like, enchantments like that. Uh, I'm gonna move I'm gonna what am I gonna do I'm gonna move Throw down the Royal Infantryman here. I can even move this skirmisher up. Throw down a new one. Let's move him up. I'm going to move him up as well. And then I'm going to throw down the Royal Skirmisher here. Give... Play armor, but it wouldn't do anything. I'm gonna throw down the crossbowman actually. Right, what's he gonna do? He's gonna kill that guy. That's first and foremost. Right, 
What else have we got? What else have we got? Come on. Uh, I think I'm going to say plate armor next time for cards unless something even worse comes up. Um, rigged. Oh, that's just mean. I hate that card. I could actually get them all to pop now. Uh Right, let's throw that away. Uh I'm gonna bonk that, just to see what else I get. Uh, yeah, I'm going to haste him, move him up, move him up, move him up, uh, move him up and move him up, and that way, yeah, and then I'll power bound him, okay, so let's do the, let's do the haste now, and I'm going to move, right, so he goes up, he gets power bound, uh, gonna move him back him back him up him up uh, summon cast walking stones as he could be useful next time okay yes okay I did that right I was a little bit worried I was like wait the destroyer fires every turn but he's only got those three and uh, walking stones in front of those two next time, or in front of the should be in front of the general, I would imagine. Although he's just going to run through ah balls, he's actually just going to run through them two now. He won't quite manage to kill that totem though, so. Oh, that's painful. He's going to kill with a general, and he's going to kill with a crossbowman. That was a good move on his part. Right, let's sack that for cards. Uh, I could do a walking stone, and then a frost wind. Or I could push him back. Right, one of those two back. I could push him back. Because he's got actual stuff on him. And he's now got the shortest cooldown. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the walking stones there. Push back on him. And leave it at that. What on earth keeps happening to these guys? I don't understand why they're dying. I am really confused. What just happened? Okay, I'm going to go back over the video and if I see a reason, I will put it up as an annotation um, after this. But I really am lost as to what keeps happening. Uh... I, I just don't know. I really don't know. Ooh, these things are annoying. Um, Hell spit and mortar. Now they are lobbers, but you notice they've got no area when I hover over them like this guy does. That's because they're random. Uh, <laughs> it randomly selects a tile and does five damage to it. It's brutal. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. I got a callback and a jewel spearman and a frostwind. I'm going to throw down the Ducal Spearman in front of my uh, guy here. And then I'm going to throw a Frostwind so it gets all of his dudes. And I think that's going to be it. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. 
Yeah, I really don't know why my guys keep dying, uh, like, when they're about to attack, and it seems to be the Ducal Infantry. So, I'm going to go back over that, and if I can see a reason, I will put it up as an annotation, as I say. If I can't, I'm going to have to bug report it, because I, I don't know, it feels like it shouldn't be a bug, and at the same time, is. <laughs> right. Let's go with throwing that away for cards. Um, I'm gonna go with. Hmm, I want to go with the thought trap on that iron golem. Let's go with the thought trap on that iron golem then. And now I've got five, so I can play one of these. Uh, uh. I'm gonna play him there. Just so that if needs be I can shuffle these guys around and actually put up an extra wall in front of my archer. And call back. No, nope, don't need it. Alright, let's go. Did he just want to kill that iron ogre? Two Iron Ogres in a deck. That's that's some heavy cards right there. And then again, this is the energy deck. They seem to be a slower building deck from what I've seen. Ah, oh, another gun automaton. Uh. Um. Hmm. I'm going to throw away the callback. And... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these two up. Throw down a Royal Infantryman in front of them. I know that's not using his passive particularly well, but it, it's better than nothing. Or I could just move them forward. But then they could, he could run through them with the Iron Ogre next turn. Right, okay. I'm going to move these two up. I'm going to... Use the Royal Infantryman there as a chump blocker. I'm going to throw down the Blessing of Haste on that guy. Uh, and then the Royal Spearman can go behind here. That's me. Okay, so he can now kill that guy. And his mortar's about to fire. But I don't think he can kill anyone with this Iron Ogre. Because I think that should just reduce all of the damage done by it. Because, I mean, he's, yeah, he's relentless, and yeah, he's got 7 damage. But that reduces all the damage done to it by 1, uh, 2, 1. So, he can either move this thing up and do some damage to him, or he could move him down, the, the, um, Copper Autonomous, uh, Automaton, down to do 1 extra damage to the Walking Stones, and then hope that this thing hits something. Uh, I mean, he's got a reasonable chance of it hitting something and killing it because he does five freaking damage. Uh, all units with range or lower have their attack cooldown reduced by two. Ah, oh, that's just me. Um, yeah, the copper automaton, automaton can now move up and he can kill him. Yeah. And if this iron golem moves up, he will kill my uh, totem. Yep, there we go. Gravelock Elder. Um, ah, you devil. Yeah, only does one. Cool. Uh, I'm going to sack that for cards. Spowman, Ducal Infantryman. Could I get some decent cards, please? Come on. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Right, he's going to move down. He's going to move down. 
Bowman's gonna go in there. Chris Bowman's gonna go in there. Uh, kill that guy. Yes! Awesome! Killed one! Epic! And he's got nothing this turn. Unless he has more haste. Uh, so the Gravelock Elder is... Um, is basically buffs for other Gravelock units. Ooh, good move. Yeah, taking out my my damage. Because if he left that there and I'd got another set of attacks off with these guys, I would have killed that point. Um, or if I'd been able to surprise him like that. I don't know. I still feel in a decent position, even though he's got some massive units out and all I've got is rubbish except for the Walking Stones. Um, next turn that's going to fire, next turn that's going to go off, next turn that's going to go off. Urrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I've got okay I've got enough for him which means that if he attacks me he dies and then the Sin Sinmark Zealot can go there and this guy can move back up into here that's my turn yeah I know it seems like a waste of a flip but at the same time I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill that thing and I want to be able to kill him because he is really painful of course next turn I'm gonna regret having not tried to kill the ether pump because this guy can of course just move but he's either gonna do zero damage or he's gonna kill himself or he's gonna do zero damage and then next turn I've got to worry about the catapult of goo which is gonna do damage to that square which is really annoying I mean I can move that across and then move him down so that he's actually doing damage yeah I'm gonna do that Ah, oh, more burn? That's just mean. Uh, of course, if he doesn't kill the Sinmark Zealot, I will kill his Iron Ogre as well. So let's see, see how it goes. Right, see what he's done is he's gone, well you've killed two of my things but I can now concentrate my defence. Yeah, zero damage. Uh, right, I'm actually gonna burn him for cards. I'm gonna use pushback on that thing. Pushback. Uh, summon, cast, obelisk, perfect. Obelisk, go there. Uh, he is going to move back here. Actually, he should probably have just moved up there. Although it seems to me that that lobber isn't actually random. It keeps hitting that point. Right, let's go with that. Wow, he just got a lot hit zero. Ooh, ah, oh, dang. It's unfortunate. And I don't no, is I'm going to be getting any more units anytime <laughs> soon. Because <laughs> um, I think how it does is it sort of puts them at the bottom of your... Yeah, it's a better way of doing it. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, burn? Really? Direct damage? This deck does have a lot of direct damage, unfortunately. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not anywhere near completely screwed at this point because I've got that there in front of my most damaged there we go okay second most damage resonant now let's burn that cards I'm gonna stick him behind the wall A because he's gonna be doing one damage to the Iron Ogre who I can destroy soon and then Royal Spearman I'm going to stick them behind as well and then next turn I'll burn one of those two okay okay Urgh. Right, what else have I got? What else have I got? What else have I got? Uh, well, that thing basically can't do anything. He's going to either attack that and do nothing, or he's going to move it down and then do two damage to that, which I'd probably do. Just, just so that you're getting damage down somewhere. I mean, yeah, it puts it a little bit out of position. And there's the ether pump back in the exact same spot. See, I've got no big damage anymore. 
Ah, right, that's why he's been using Ember Bonds. So every time they attack, they receive two damage. Okay. Purification. I could purify that. That's what I'm going to do. Horn of Ages. Mm, right, let's get rid of the new orders then. Uh, yeah, I could do all of those. Right, purify. Purify on him. Thought Trap. Thought Trap on that. Ducal Skirmisher. Can go down there. This guy can move that way. This guy can move that way. Yep, 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 yep. Excellent. So that Iron Ogre is now pretty much dead. Because both of these guys are going to attack next turn and he can only move one square anyway. And when he moves, if he stays there, that guy will kill him. If he moves, he's going to attack and that guy will kill him. Even though he will manage to kill him off as well. Um, because the damage is done by my guy during the spiky, during the, the attack, he won't then keep going and do four extra damage to this guy, which is fortunate. Because he's basically the only guy who can do damage. Yeah, he's decided he, he might as well kill that guy because he's going to die next turn anyway. Um, another... Okay. What on earth is going on here? Yep, yeah, there he goes. He's dead. Boom, boom. Yeah, okay. He's got me down to two as well. Okay. Now I have to say he's in a slightly better position than me. Right, one of ages, burn it out. Come on. Is there anyone with just one health? Nope, not really. I am, however, going to use it. Probably use it on Ether Pump. There we go. Uh, focus. Yeah, not bad. Purification. Obelisk. Oh, I'm going to throw down. This obelisk here. And then focus him so that he does. Or I could save it for next turn. And use it on this guy. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because then he will be able to kill the dude behind him. Because he'll then do seven. And he's only got four. And then he'll kill him. Yeah, sorry, this is such a long one again, guys. Uh, he's putting up a bit of a tricky fight here. <laughs> I think, really, the middle one is the best one for me to hit. Nice. Yep. Okay. Ooh, Frostwind. Nice. Right, let's get rid of the Purification. Honourable General's back. Woohoo! Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna focus that guy. I'm gonna frost wind. All of them. And leave it at that. What? Why did he take four damage? Had he... Did he use... Okay, he must have used a... Um... Oh, what do you call them? Uh, rigged. On that thing. And I didn't notice. That's stupid of me. Bolts. Oh well. Yeah. That was annoying. Because basically next turn all I'm going to have is the freaking Honourable General. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Let's get rid of that. The Honourable General can go there. And the Royal Infantryman. You can go there. See, the thing is, if he manages to get anyone down to this one, I'm pretty much screwed. I think, to be fair, I'm pretty much screwed at this point. I mean, yeah, he can't do it this turn, but next turn, he can. And I don't think I can... I mean, I'll have to put down... Yeah, I think he's got me. Yeah. Pretty sure he's got me. He's definitely got me. <laughs> Uh, Resident Helm, burn it for cards. See, that would have been useful earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh no, not next turn, in a couple of turns. Yeah, in two turns, I'm dead. Very, very dead. Uh, Right, let's put down put the crown of strength on him. Yeah, a full power bone can only be used on my units. Uh Royal Skirmisher. Uh let's stick him here for the moment. See the thing with walls is uh they are very useful, but they do stop you from putting any more damage in that in that row. Which means, you know, this guy who takes one less combat damage than normal anyway. You know, he's on at least five health and that's if I can get four damage. Oh, and he used a uh, tick bomb to destroy a target structure. Yep, there we go. I am really and truly bones now. He might actually try and get the extra. Oh, scatter gunner. Yeah, that's GG. Let's see it out to the end. Oh, come on! That guy has been so accurate this game. I can actually kill him this turn. Right. Burn that for cards. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to lose. So I might as well let him have the extra gold, because that just seems mean. To try and stop him like that. Uh, although, I don't think he can... Oh yeah, he's moved that down, moved that up. Boom, boom. Right, let's put focus on him. Put... Screw it, yeah. Let's put the Simon Sailor down and then throw that on him. Ah, I think he's still got it. <laughs> At worst, he moves that down as... Oh no, of course. He can't. Because he's he's got the uh, the building in the way. Yes. Okay. Let's go for that. Yep. I think I've just stopped him from getting any extra gold. But uh... yeah. GG. That was a good game. That was a good game. Yep. So I figured out why my guys kept dying. He put enchantments on them and I didn't notice so I'm gonna have to pay a lot more attention to that and oh my god this game has been going on for an hour there we go that's game GG alrighty then folks <laughs> once his stuff all stopped shooting <laughs> that was that was a lot of pain at the end there um okay then so my first ranked match did not go well. Did not go well. To be fair, I think that was his first ranked match as well. Um, 
So yeah. Uh, I will say goodbye there. I think. Um, if any one of you guys is interested in the game Blood Bowl, specifically Blood Bowl Chaos Edition, I am playing in the Hadwick Democracy Bowl, and I'll be recording those games and putting them up as well. Uh, the pools should come down tonight basically so hopefully at the latest some point next week I will have a game of Blood Bowl up I'm playing some Orcs so it will most likely be a bit of Murder Bowl which now that I've played a little bit more I realise is the most boring thing on the face of the planet to actually play but I'm sure I'll try and make it interesting with stupid things to do um, anyway uh, that's just for if anyone else is interested in Blood Bowl if you're interested only in Scrolls then I will be playing more Scrolls later once i've actually uploaded this and done some work today uh so yeah i'll uh, see you guys all right